Redskin fans in particular will never forget this return. The injury. And still the touchdown. And Walter Payton winds it up in a dejected note. Jimmy the Greek, let me ask you about that injury to Green, which I alluded to. That could make a very big difference against Anthony Carter. Well, you can say that again and in spades. I know the Redskins are very happy about winning the game, but without Daryl Green to watch Mr. Carter or to return their punts. I mean, he's a big man out of the lineup offensively and defensively. It would make a difference of at least two points. Jimmy, let me ask you about the AFC game about to start. Uh, I want no part of picking any games. I thought the home teams would do well this weekend. How about Denver at home now against Houston? Well, Denver's at home, and they've got Elway. We'll go with Denver. <laughs> yeah. You don't think they can make it three in a row? No, no I figured for sure, Greek, uh, given what Minnesota did yesterday to the San Francisco 49ers, that the red alert would go out to the Chicago Bears, and they would shut them down with a defensive effort. Brent, I argued with you all the way from San Francisco about Washington and Chicago. You sure did. You liked the Redskins. And again, I, I think we should give an awful lot of credit to that offensive line. If you remember early, Dent was able to apply some pressure against them. But then after that, he was shut down by Jacoby. And Hampton was not much of a presence on the inside either. I'm going to give the credit to that Washington coaching staff. They're super. I'm telling you, the way this man comes up with ways to stop teams in big games is fantastic. He did it last year here, too, if you remember. And let's not forget something else. He's the man who said it'll be Doug Williams. He said it early, and Williams came in here and played brilliantly. For all of us, I'm Brent Musburger saying so long from Soldier Field in Chicago where the Washington Redskins have advanced. Coming up next, Georgetown and DePaul. So long, everybody.